At Corny and Lynn Lawyers, we have a vision to provide advice and solutions that will deliver just, redemptive and restoring outcomes. Each of our lawyers believes in the call on their lives to contribute to the fabric of this world through strategic counsel, courageous advocacy and clear documentation. This leads to just, redemptive outcomes. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to um, another um, webinar, which is part of our series, uh, Corny and Lynn series of short, sharp, sweet webinars. Um, my name is Heilala Tambete, and um, I'm an associate with uh, Corny and Lynn lawyers. Um, I'll be delivering a presentation um, this afternoon um, on anti-bullying. Um, my topic is on managing bullying in the workplace or recourse um, to the Fair Work Commission. Just to uh, give you a bit of a background um, about Corny and Lind Lawyers, we're a, a Brisbane-based law firm. We have six key focus areas, that is uh, schools and education, charity and not-for-profit, uh, commercial and business, employment and discrimination, family law and elder law and estates. As you can see from these key areas, um, um, I'll be delivering this presentation from the employment and discrimination um, aspect. Um, and um, just to give you a brief rundown, um, the what I um, intend to discuss during the presentation, um, as outlined in the little blurb that you would have been privy to prior to attending, is um, I... I wish to discuss what workplace bullying is. Um, I will then get into discussing um, um, as an employee uh, lodging internal complaints and as an employer um, what you can um, uh, expect in terms of managing um, the internal complaints. Um, I then intend to canvas um, the outcomes um, of the internal um, grievance procedure and whether these have been satisfactory. If they have been satisfactory, um, well done for employers. Uh, for employees, if um, you are dissatisfied, um, we will then go further and discuss about um, lodging bullying complaints with the Fair Work um, Commission. I suppose what I'll begin with um, by, by saying is that bullying can affect anyone. It it can be among co-workers, managers and workers, workers and customers, clients, contractors, work experience students and others within a workplace. Um, bullying behavior is quite stressful. Um, the impact that it can cause um, is not only contained within the stress itself, but leads to distress, anxiety, panic attacks, uh, sleep disturbances, reduced work performance, a loss of self-esteem. Sometimes it can cause feelings of isolation. Uh, more often than not, it um, uh, contributes to deteriorating, de deteriorating relationships with your colleagues, families and friends, um, and ultimately can lead to more um, clinical um, effects such as depression or thoughts of suicide. So we'll just get into um, what workplace bullying is. Um, under the Fair Work Amendment Act, um, workplace bullying has been defined um, under Section 789, capital F and capital D, subsections 1 and 2. Um, it, it, to, to break down the definition, um, a worker is considered to be bullied if they satisfy the three main elements, and that's what's up on the screen at the moment. You have to work in a cons constitutionally covered business, um, and while at work, the second element is that an individual or a group will repeatedly behave unreasonably towards you as the worker or a group of workers. And the third element is that such behavior has to create a risk um, to the health and safety um, of the employee. So if we just um, have a look at that individually, um, constitutionally covered businesses are constitutional corporations, can be trading or financial, 
a commonwealth or a commonwealth authority, a, bo a body corporate incorporated in, in a territory, and a business of undertaking conducted principally in a territory or a commonwealth place. 